Let's do one tricky question for finding an area between curves. So in this question, I want to find some constant b such that y equals b divides the region bounded by y equals x squared and y equals 4 into two regions with equal area. The first thing you're probably thinking is what the hell does all of this mean? And in order to figure this out, what we should probably do is we should graph it. So y equals x squared. What does y equals x squared look like? Well, it's a parabola, and it is symmetric on both sides, so we have a graph that would look like this. And it's bounded by y equals x squared and y equals 4. So if I put some lines here, y equals 4, I know these don't quite match up perfectly, but conceptually, we have an area in between y equals 4 and y equals x squared. So essentially, all of this area here. And we want to find some line y equals b, so I'm just going to make a dotted line somewhere, where the area up top, a1, is equal to the area down at the bottom, a2. So how do we find this line? Well, essentially what we want is we want the areas a1 and a2 to be the same. So we want the integral from, I should put it down here, so the integral from 0 to some constant b of, let's say, some function f of x should be equal to a2, and then the integral from b to 4, which would be this area a1 of g of x is equal to a1, and it just happens that a1 is equal to a2. So we want to set these two integrals equal to each other. But the question is, how do we do this? Well, the easiest way to do this is to take a look at this integral with respect to the y-axis. So essentially, we want to go from right to left. And because it's symmetric with parabolas, we don't even have to take a look at the left side of this curve. We can just completely ignore the left side of this curve. So we want to find some line, y equals b, that we split this area into two equal parts. So let's make this as a function of y. So essentially we have that x is equal to the square root of y. So in order to solve this, we need to make sure the bottom area is equal to the top area. So we can take the integral from 0 to some number b of the square root of y, and we can set it equal to the integral from b to 4 of the square root of y. So this is the same curve, and all I'm saying is that up to some dotted line, this area in yellow is equal to this area in green, and then y equals 4 would be at the top. This dotted line is y equals b, and this would be y equals 0 at the bottom. So I'm setting them equal to each other. And hopefully, then we'll have an equation with b in it, and we can solve for what b is. So the antiderivative of the square root of y is just y to the 3 halves over 3 halves, and this will be from b to 0. And this will be equal to y to the 3 halves over 3 halves from 4 to b, or from b to 4. Okay, so let's just substitute in some numbers here. So if we put b in on the left, we'll have b to the 3 halves over 3 halves is equal to, because if we put 0 in for y, we'll just get 0. Okay, so 4 to the 3 halves is 8 over 3 halves minus, if we put in b for y, we'll get b to the 3 halves over 3 halves. Okay, so let's simplify the left and right side. So b to the 3 halves over 3 halves is just going to be 2b to the 3 halves over 3. This will be equal to, well, 8 over 3 halves is just 16 over 3, minus 2b to the 3 halves over 3. Let's put our b's over to one side. Actually, in fact, we can multiply everything by 3 to get rid of the denominator here. So 2b to the 3 halves is equal to 16 minus 2b to the 3 halves. Let's bring the 2b halves on the right side to the left. So we'll have 4b to the 3 halves 
is equal to 16. And now I'll divide both sides by four. So b to the three halves is equal to four. Okay, so now we can take both sides to the two thirds. So we get b is equal to four to the two thirds, which is just the same thing as b is equal to what's four squared. So that's 16 to the one third. So what is the cubed root of 16? Well, that is some number that we're not entirely sure of. So we can say that b is equal to the cubed root of 16. So essentially what we're saying is if we have a parabola x squared and it's between y equals 4 and y equals 0, if we pick b equals the cubed root of 16, so say somewhere here, y equals the cubed root of 16, then the top area, which we'll call this a1, is equal to the bottom area, which is a2. And we can verify this by putting this cubed root of 16 in for our b values and our integrals, and we can verify numerically that it is the same. However, that is on you to do, so if you want to verify for sure, please check it out. Hopefully, conceptually, this made a little bit more sense and these are common problems on exams because you're not just given fun functions and picking top and bottom curves. Instead, this is more conceptual. We say, okay, I have this curve. It has some area in between, but I want to divide it into two parts that are equal. So how can we come about that? And it's a different type of thinking that you're not necessarily taught in class. So hopefully you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them.